Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh, and today we're checking out Hell Reach Part 2 of Warhammer 40k Story. Guys, I really love Part 1. Thank you guys so much for recommending that. The scores were fantastic, the voiceover was fantastic, and the animation, amazing. So, I'm really looking forward to checking out the rest of this series. Guys, please continue to leave the comments below. That's what you guys want me to check out next. All my videos are based off of that. So, let's just go ahead and jump into Part 2. I'm really excited. I know I don't sound excited. <laughs> In the holiest chamber of our ancient flagship, I lower myself to one knee and bow my head, because this is what is asked of me. Grimaldus, High Marshal Helbrecht intoned. His voice was a guttural rumble, rendered harsh from yelling orders and battle cries in a hundred wars and a hundred worlds. We have summoned you to be judged. I have answered the summons. I submit myself before your judgment, my liege. Mardred is dead. Helbrecht's voice was a deep murmur. Slain by the arch enemy. You, Grimaldus, have lost a master. We have all of us lost a brother. It was the belief of Reclusiarch Mordred that upon his death, you would be worthiest of our brother chaplains to stand in his stead. His final decree was that you, of all your brethren, would be the one to rise to the rank of... Reclusiarch! The figure inclined his head in greeting. Arterium, we draw near to our destination. I took the liberty of readying the squad for Planetfall. This world will burn. It will not be the first, nor the last. Have you seen the projections, the fleet auguries, the number of vessels in the local systems already? I lost interest when the numbers became too high for me to count on my fingers. Artarian snorted at his own weak jest. We will fight and win, or fight and die. All that ever changes is the color of the sky we fight under and the shade of the blood on our blades. Man, that's a badass statement, man. My brother's names are Artarian, Priamus, Cador, Nerovar, and Bastilan. These are the knights that have waged war beside me for decades. We are the knights of Squad Grimaldus. Within his veins, Cador carries the blessed blood of Rogal Dorn with what seems like weary honor. He is older than I, older by far. 
His decades within the Sword Brethren are behind him now. Primus is the rising sun to Cador's dusk. He is aware of his skills in the unsubtle and undignified way of many young warriors. A blade master, he calls himself. Yet he is not mistaken. Arterion is... Arterion. My shadow, just as I am his. It is rare among our number for any knight to lay aside personal glory, yet Arterion is the one who carries my banner into battle. Nerevar is the newest among us. The squad required the presence of an apothecary. In the trials, only Nerevar impressed the rest of us with his quiet endurance. Bastelan is last. Bastelan, always the best and least of us all. A leader, but not a commander. An inspiring presence, but not a strategist. Forever a sergeant, never fated to rise as a Castellan or Marshal. My brothers go through the same rituals of checking and rechecking. A curious sense of unease descends upon me. It is my belief, not merely the wish of your fallen master, that you should take the honor we offer you now. You have waged war at my side for two hundred years, Grimaldus. Will you stand at my side as reclusiarch of the Eternal Crusade? Yes. I dub the Reclusiarch of the Eternal Crusade as a Knight of the Inner Circle. Let that be the last blow you receive unanswered. It will be so, my leash. As it should be. crazy it went by so fast man i didn't realize it was eight minutes already oh man Dude, i'm loving this man i am loving this so freaking much man everything about it and somebody left a comment saying that um about the whole 200 year thing but they didn't explain like how long do um space marines live i'm curious like i'm pretty like i know they're going to battle all the time they can die at any moment but say if they were never like actually you know mortally wounded or anything how how long can a space marine live? Um, it blew my mind when somebody typed in the comment like two hundred years. I'm like Jesus Christ, dude! It's um, and they just said it here two hundred years. They've been fighting for two hundred years. Um, man, that's wild, man. That's cool. So I don't know, man. I'm really loving this. Like the the scores, the dialogue, like everything is just fantastic. Um, I'm starting to get like. I could be wrong because I, I didn't look up the dates. I, I don't even know when the Galaxy's Edge series started. But this seems um, eerily familiar. And I know I'm, I'm, I know it's, it can't be as old as Warhammer. It can't be. I'm thinking this guy was inspired by Warhammer in some sense. 
Um, I have to look up when it was in, when this um, book first hit shelves or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's a fairly new series because um, I didn't I didn't I didn't hear about it until I think like 2018 or something like that, and that's when I started reading. Um, I st- started it in like no no, no 2019. I, I got my first book in 2019, and um, yeah, about that time. And then I fell off on reading it after reading like the first one. Then I got the sec- the second one, um, and third one this year. Um, but some of this, there's some similarities. So I'm I th- I'm thinking old boy got um inspired by it, and because I'm like that floating head that's going on in this, um, and the animation scene in the first one as well. I'm want and it, it um, it does that head like track wars and stuff like that. Just what in in Galaxy's Edge, just a floating robot that like records stuff and streams it back to like the um. The, what do you call it? the planets that are within the Federation. So people can see, like, uh, what's going on with, like, in the wars and all that jazz. Like, you know, to keep, you know, morale up, positivity, blah, blah, blah. But um, the head's, like, flowing around them while they're talking. I wonder if that's just, like, you know, recording the experiences. Um, like, how the story starts off with him, like, going through, like, the the soldiers he's been fighting with all these years. The story starts off, um, well, it starts off right in the war zone. And then kind of go through the same thing, explaining each soldier and stuff. Um, it's not, and then like having, um, you know, super soldiers that are like augmented and all the jazz, special armor going around and like, uh, you know, taking over planets and all the jazz, um, not really taking over, like slaughtering any, like, um, any forces that like attack them or go against the, the Republican stuff. So, um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering if old boy was inspired by this. But I'm enjoying it so far. Nevertheless, I am enjoying it. This is fantastic. Um, this eight minutes blew by. I didn't realize it was that short. I mean, that I knew it was that short. I didn't realize it had reached eight minutes that fast. It felt shorter, but, which is a good sign. Whenever you're watching something lo- like um, and you don't realize how much time has passed, it's when you know, like you're just immersed in. Um, so that's why I'm like, man, this is great. All right, guys, that is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one later.